Hi, it's Chaplain John with uh, Neighbors Care. I'm really excited today. <laughs> we just uh, finished our first 24 hours from the time we posted our first uh, um, video on our uh, on our channel yesterday. And um, I'll tell you, thanks to, many thanks to Liz and uh, Brandon. I'd like to thank them so much for all their work uh, and their encouragement yesterday because uh, this thing just blew up really quick, and uh, we're really excited about that. We thank God for that today. Um, we uh, we ended up with uh, about 400, about 400 new subscribers in the first 24 hours. That's really exciting to us. And um, about over 900 people um, have viewed uh, our three videos that we posted yesterday, that's just an incredible amount. I just, it was well beyond what I could have ever imagined, and I'm very thankful to God, and I'm thankful to all of you who uh, encouraged uh, us to uh, continue uh, with this channel. Uh, loving God, loving neighbors, that's what it's all about, and uh, so we thank you for that. I want to uh, we got a number of comments yesterday too, which was really was was really fun, um, and uh, many of them are from from Spanish speaking people, which uh, I just I'm just so excited <laughs> that they're that they're our friends and neighbors and uh, and and now they're they're part of Neighbors Care with our channel and uh, and we uh, we just ask God to just bless them today. So I. Um, <laughs> I want to try to say thank you back, and 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 I hope that this uh, that it's okay. I'm hoping that you can figure out what I'm trying to say to you. Um, but first of all, I'd just like to say que Dios te bendiga. Uh, I, I just love you. Gracias, muchas gracias. Uh, uh, anyway, this is um, Hola vecino, como altas esta manana. Um, I thank you very much, <laughs> and we're really welcoming you today. We had so many comments yesterday, and um, as, as well as views and subscriptions, and, and I just wanted to share a few of them with you because they're from all over the country. Uh, we had uh, Asuna uh, Azucena Arona from uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. She said, hola, hola to you. And uh, gracias, thank you so much. Uh, in Texas, Anna Garcia, blessings from Texas. Thank you. I've spent a lot of time in the last few years in Texas, and uh, I, mostly in Houston, but I, uh, San Antonio, uh, Fort Worth. Uh, we're just we have uh, family in in both Fort Worth and in uh, San Antonio now. Uh, Texas got our love. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Um, from El Paso, uh, am glad to show my support all the way. Thank you, El Paso. Uh, on my way to Houston, that's one of my stops in El Paso. I always spend the night there. Just to, when I first come into El Paso, I a little place on the right as I'm heading east and uh, Best Western, and I always stop there. Uh, I love the place and uh, love the spirit there. So God bless you, and thank you so much for your encouragement. Um, from Margarita and uh, Al Sazen and uh, Miriam, God bless, um, God bless you. Thank you so much. I need the blessings. Uh, we need uh, your prayers, and thank you for what we're trying to do here. House of Lilacs, uh, we have a lot in common. My husband and I do a lot of uh, community work uh, with our local church, and and so this will be great. And we're we're thank you, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that. And uh, another one, Marcella, she said, "I love your preaching," and and I feel sorry that uh, she must not hear much good preaching because I don't consider myself a good preacher. But God bless you and thank you for that encouragement today. And then uh, I absolutely love the parable. Thank you for sharing from Martha. Thank you so much for the Denver, Colorado. God bless you. God bless you in return. Thank you so much for being part of Neighbors Care. And Larry in uh, Fredericksburg, uh, Virginia, thank you for your subscription. Thank you for joining us. Um, we love the work that you're doing 
uh, already in your community, uh, a 55 plus community, and, and you've already got like 18 people or so uh, that you're praying for and, um, and um, coming to their coming alongside them in their time of need. And we thank you so much for that. And God bless you too today. So we're really excited. Uh, I hope you can tell. I'm really excited. I can, uh, I can barely think this morning. I'm just so astounded at what God can do when he opens a door for us and we walk through that door. And I want to encourage you to do the same. When uh, Pray that God opens up doors for you to, to share his good news. You know, uh, we've all done some things in our lives that we're, maybe we're not very proud of or really even ashamed of, and, but God has forgiven us much. And I love the, the, the scripture that Paul writes about in, uh, in Romans 1.16 where he said, but I'm not ashamed. <laughs> in other words, he was ashamed of some things. He did a lot of bad things and, and sometimes so have we, but he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel, of the good news of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of of God for salvation, to life everlasting with him, complete healing, complete salvation for everyone who believes, for everyone who believes. If you kind of are on the fence or not too sure today, ask God to help you believe. He wants you to share his life with him for the rest of eternity. He loves you that much that he died on the cross for you. Remember that today. Remember that today. God bless you. I'm just so thankful for you today. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to now getting ready to go out and do the fun part of what I do here is to go out in the street and, um, and talk to people and build those caring relationships. That's what we do at Neighbors Care. And uh, part of that is uh, emphasizing the cooperative roles of government. That's one of the our uh, one of the entities in our in our mission statement, isn't government? So we, we're showing our appreciation today. It's Appreciation Week here in our city, and uh, we're going to have a luncheon for them and uh, be going to uh, the, the the fire department, the police department, and first responders. And so hopefully I can get some. I'm going to go on live today and um, see how that works out. <laughs> It'll be a first two. We'll see what happens. Uh, of course, I'll have to get permission to, from people to see if it's okay if we film them or whatever. But we want to bring some of this to you today, show you what we do. We we want to bring you into this and, and help you to see how you can become more of an influence. We all have influence. You see, um, there was a guy in the Bible. His name was Nehemiah in the Old Testament. You should look him up sometime. And uh, he was a cupbearer for the king. Now, Nehemiah was taken captive from uh, Israel, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and he was taken to, into captivity, and he was the cupbearer for the king. The cupbearer was, well, I'll tell you what it was. The cupbearer was the guy who, when he got dinner served or, you know, whatever he was doing, he wanted some wine or water or something to drink. The cupbearer would always drink it first. And then it got real still. And people would really look at him real close. And and, and if he didn't die, that was good. And, and then he could give it to the king and the king could drink it and everything was fine. But that guy who came there as a captive... He had lost his home, lost where he lived. He was transported over to another country. And, and here he is with the person who defeated him. And his name was uh, Artaxerxes. And, and yeah, so he had no, no power at all, but he had influence. And when God opens a door for him, like he did uh, Nehemiah and Nehemiah walked through that door and he can and he talked to the king and he told him why he was sad and that he wanted to go back and rebuild the wall for his people and the suffering people that were still left behind in uh, Jerusalem. The king did that. He not only sent him back but he gave him all the provisions and much of the materials and even people to help him in the rebuilding of that wall. He became the governor of that area. So we all have influence. We use that influence to build those caring relationships with people. That's what we do at Neighbors Care. We want to help you to do that. That's what 
God commands us to do. Love God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, and our neighbor as ourself. Even the king is our neighbor. Even the king of the, the person who took our freedom away from us is our neighbor. Think about that today. How you can be used by God no matter what your situation is. Whatever my situation is today, we can be used by God. I love you. Have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you later from outside somewhere. <laughs> God bless. Love God. Love your neighbor. Bye.